Well, Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network, and, and basically, of course, uh, they're trying to do everything they can to get us into a war in the Middle East, and basically, of course, uh, why well, we know the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, both of these are subversive organizations, and they're behind it, certainly John Kerry, Susan Rice, the key people in the Obama administration, who are pushing this, and certainly the mass media, who, which is controlled by the Brotherhood of darkness. They want to get us to expand the war over there now. Now, basically, is there any justification for it? Absolutely not. Certainly, there's a man, his name is Dale Gavlak, G-A-V-L-A-K, 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 Dale Gavlak. Go up on the internet. He's a reporter. He used to be with AP. Whether he still is or not, I don't know. But he went to the suburb where the poison gas was used, talked to the rebels there, and they said, look, we got the poison gas from Saudi Arabia. They didn't tell us how to use it. It got out of hand. We're sorry the way things worked out. But they readily admit it was the rebels that did this. And basically, of course, this is all a lie about Assad. They have no proof of it, and they don't want to wait until the, the United Nations comes out with a report. And basically, why, if certainly this report is out there, and you can get up on the internet and look up Dale Gavlak, uh, articles certainly on Infowars and many other websites, uh, telling about Dale Gavlak and the fact that it was the rebels who readily admitted that they used the poison gas. Why isn't that covered by the media? And it's because the media is controlled ladies and gentlemen. The media is controlled by the same people who control the military, the banks, the major corporations, and largely control what the American people think and believe. Well, this afternoon, we're going to be talking with our good friend, Deborah Tavares, about what this is really all about. And it's really all about creating a one world government under a new subversive elite, this subversive elite that operates out of the United States. These people should be indicted and tried for treason because their activities are treasonous. But Deborah, why don't you get into the background and all the documents that you have on your website laying out the plan for the establishment of a one world government government, a one world financial system, and the destruction of Christianity, which is the major goal of these people because they worship a different God. Go right ahead, Deborah. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Stan. Yes, um, on StopTheCrime.net, StopTheCrime.net, we have posted some critical documents, um, quiet weapons, silent weapons for quiet wars, the NWO exposed 1969, and most importantly, we have the great American adventure, Secrets of America, that will talk to you about the subversion of the United States Constitution during the bankruptcy of 1933. Very very important to understand. We look at all of this as though it's just a shadow in the corner, but you've got to keep in mind, much of this is directed by contracts. That's why our land is being stolen right out from underneath us. Uh, that is why we have you in Agenda 21 battles uh, with regionalization in Northern California, where they're redefining property use, and this is all part of a strategy, and it has, it has legal uh, unlegal, lawful um, realities to it, and that's why it is absolutely important to um, take a look at that document on our website. Um, also, Dr. Stan, I wanted to make a, con uh, a comment about what we're doing in Syria, because, of course, we're saying that we must go in because the government has used chemicals and biologicals on the civilian population. Well, I know that we've spoken many times about the NASA war plan that we found on the NASA website that is also under our source documents on stopthecrime.net, and everyone knows that they're using chemicals and biologicals on the American civilian population every single day. This is no new news. We're being poisoned into chemical lobotomies so that we will not be able to think or function. And the weapons that they are using are unimaginable. And when you look at that NASA war plan, you understand what they're doing overseas to these innocents. And they're using these on us. They're poisoning our water. They're poisoning our air, our food supply. They're using um, the United States Air Force to fly missions over us to um, 
to pollute our skies every single day. And in fact, I can say that in the NASA war plan, they talk about terror attacks within the continental United States using binary chemical biologicals and that they will use radiation frequencies against our brain. So what is happening right now demands everyone's immediate attention. We are in a declaration of war under the silent weapons quiet wars policy that was was a uh, 1954 adopted Bilderberg policy at the very first Bilderberg meeting in the Netherlands. It's only 44 pages. We also have it up in an audio format as well. So everyone needs to read that immediately to understand the foundation of what we face. And then everyone needs to take action. We cannot sit on the sidelines as we are watching innocents in the world being attacked by rogue United States states that does not represent us. We have been taken by mega banks and mega corporations that are posing as a legitimate government, and they are not. And until we understand what is happening, we are going to continue to find ourselves being more conditioned into a reality of a new world order that absolutely has no regards towards human life, morality, or ethics at all. A new world order is completely oppressive, and we're heading into that if we're not already basically there with this massive surveillance grid that they have um, put over all of us, not only with the smart meters on all of our homes, that is a massive surveillance grid in and of itself. They'll know what you're doing in your home at every time. That's absolute surveillance in your home, massive data collection, but this will monitor all human activity as well as this is planned upholst genocide electromagnetically. This is part of the silent weapons system. And we've got to wake up awful quick. You've been hearing Dr. Stan talk about this for many years. It's amped up. All of us have to engage in this awareness campaign because this is a battle. We must not consent by lack of knowledge. Our consent is one of the victors' primary considerations. They consider that our consent is their primary victory, and we are consenting by lack of knowledge. We've all been massively deceived. We've been dumbed down through our education, dumbed down with all the chemicals and biologicals, and we have to wake up right now. The future of humanity requires it. They are getting ready to launch us into more unthinkable. They're getting ready to... Uh, to um, eliminate the human species as we have known it, called transhumanism. And that is happening. When you read that NASA war plan on StopTheCrime.net, you will find that they say on page 66, increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large, too heavy, too tender, too slow physically and mentally. Humans require too much cost, and humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. So what do you do about knowing all of this, you go to the um, solutions page on StopTheCrime.net. You engage completely. The Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document is a declaration of war. It says so in the very beginning. Whenever a small group of well-informed, moneyed people that have the methodologies to control the economy of the world without the knowledge or consent of the public wheel their power to do so, it is a a declaration of war. So we have been in a declared war, and initially this this um, uh, plan of the silent weapons was hatched in the late 40s with Rockefeller, the United States Air Force, the international bankers, and Harvard University. We have some big players that have engaged in war against us. So it's extremely important to understand we have rules and regulations that are not laws. We don't need to comply. We cannot obey with a system that is murderous and ruthless and is picking our rural farmers and ranchers off all around the perimeter of our large cities. More farms and ranches are getting closed down because of the rules and regulations by groups that are corporate entities of this mother corporation. They have okay. no legal standing. Hold, Deborah, you're going to have to hold that back. We're going to be back in just a moment. Our guest is Deborah Tavares. Deborah, what's your website again? Stop the crime. 
Stopthecrime.net. Stopthecrime.net. You'll certainly want to go there. You'll want to pull down the various documents he has. We'll be back in just a moment here at Genesis. Well, Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network, our guest is Deborah Tavares, and she's simply pointing out that we have a small group of subversives that control our government. Now, basically, the average individual finds it difficult to believe we live such a wonderful life and we have relative freedom here, but of course, we're only being allowed to have it temporarily until, of course, they have succeeded in using the financial and military power of the United States uh, to consolidate the rest of the world and then uh, they're going to uh, certainly plunge us into a terrible world war and whether that's what's coming now or this is a prelude to it we'll just have to wait and watch and see but ladies and gentlemen now you can just tell who these people are if you know the characters if you have a program you need the membership list of the Council on Foreign Relations and there you'll find John Kerry and Susan Rice and certainly the man who preceded John Kerry with the I mean, to Susan Rice, uh, certainly there at the, um, the National Security Advisor, that was Thomas L. Donilon, and the man who preceded him, General James Jones, all came from this subversive group. The Council on Foreign Relations formed back in 1921 to bring about a world government. It is subversive, and we ought to call it just exactly what it is. And these people should be arrested, and they should be indicted and tried for treason. Go right ahead, Deborah. Well, that's absolutely right. And everybody, we must engage fully now. We are at war here in the United States. It is a silent war. And they tell us in the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars document that we are being subdued by a weapon that people can not even recognize. They say that when this silent weapon is amped up gradually, the public adjusts and adapts to its presence. Well, it is being amped up with the frequencies. We are being smothered in toxic uh, geoengineering, weather modification programs, pummeled by weaponized weather warfare events all over our country. They're poisoning our food supply, our water, our food. We can't sit and take it anymore because we're all being chemically dumbed and numbed down in intentionally. And the latest government document that we found on the White House website is riveting. I can only tell you it's all about mind control. You can go to the top of StopTheCrime.net. It's flashing at the top of the home page. It says mind control. New leaked docs here. Now, it's horrific. They are amping up the frequencies this month, September of 2013, and in conjunction with going online with the massive NSA data collection center in Bluffdale, Utah, they are heading and aiming towards mind control so that we will obey. An excellent movie to understand some of this is called They Live. Watch that movie immediately. Also watch um, Eagle Eye by Spielberg to understand what quantum computers are about. This is artificial intelligence. Quantum computers is mind theft. It's invasion of the human brain. They will be able to remotely control us. You're not seeing zombies in the movies uh, just because. This is this is conditioning us to what they believe our reality to be. We are wonderful human beings. They are robbing, murdering, and stealing everything from us. This is sheer evil. And we have greater brilliance and compassion. And we must assert ourselves now. We can't continue to allow this. Our future, our children, they look at us with their big eyes. We must engage. We have to protect as many of the young as possible. We're talking about mind control, our thoughts, our emotions, directing our physical actions. A very important document on StopTheCrime.net to download and get to your police and your first responders is a warning to all police and first responders about what pulsed microwave radiation and how that affects the brain. Our police and first responders are being manipulated. That is why we are seeing heightened anger directed towards uh, protesters and civilians on the street. 
our police are already under massive attack with increased mood disorders and changes due to frequencies. Now, I can't express that enough. Read this for yourself. More importantly, understand the massive attack. This is not to scare you, but this is to inform you. We are getting very sick. This is all by design. When we're too sick to function, then we can be easily manipulated. We have autism, we have cancers and heart seizures, and people are having nosebleeds from the frequencies and the smart meters. We have rapidly uh, problems with aging and skin irritation and difficulty sleeping. They are jamming our immune systems, and we have to stop this. We have to understand how we've already been controlled by lack of knowledge. In the document, um, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars, you will see that According to the document, the international elite did decide in 1954 to wage a quiet war against us and shift all the wealth from the irresponsible many into the hands of the responsible worthy few. That's a quote from the document. And they go on to say, in view of the law of natural selection, it was agreed that a nation or world of people who will not use their intelligence are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. Such people are beasts of burden and stakes on the table by choice and consent. The goal is to establish an economy with a totally predictable and manipulable outcome. The masses will have to be trained and assigned a yoke in life from a very early age. And they go on to talk about how they will uh, create this through um, breaking up the families, that that was an important process so that we would become isolated. We wouldn't have the network of family. That's exactly what they've done. There is no more important document to read than Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. Put everything else down and read this 44-page document. Now, for those that are listening that can cannot download this document, you may call this phone number and we will get it sent to you for the cost of shipping and copying the document because we want everybody to have this available. You can, you can call area code 707 586 Nine five five eight again. Area code seven zero seven five eight six nine five five eight. You can order that document. Actually, we've put a document package together of the things that we think you need to read most immediately. We don't have a lot of time because as these frequencies amp up all around us intentionally, we will be under massive mind control. Now, if you know about this mind control in advance, there are many things that you can do to protect yourself from being manipulated and thrown into the chaotic society that they are creating. And so by reading these source documents, you will get an immediate handle on what they're planning to do uh, from that uh, uh, historical perspective, and then you can lie on top of that the NASA war plan and understand the attack is unbelievable. They are going to be doing this in Syria. The NASA war plan on page 43 tells us that they will use a micron-sized dust. They'll distribute it as an aerosol, and we'll inhale it into our, our lungs. They say that this will bore into our lung tissue and execute various pathological missions. This is, they say, legal. There's nothing legal about all of this. We have been deceived. We have a government that has been taken over, and we have been told to obey. It's the law. It is not the law. We cannot blindly go into the night believing that we are being told the truth here. We are not. And every single day, it is getting more difficult to survive. And while we still have a chance, we must do all we can and recognize we are at war. Get this information to all your families and friends. Put magnetic signs on your cars with websites. We are the media, and we've got to massively get out this information okay, because we are that, under hold siege. The thought, hold the thought, Deborah. We'll be right back. And give us a call. 
Well, there is a, certainly a subversive element out there, ladies and gentlemen. It's led by the Rockefeller and a number of other very wealthy people who want to bring about a one-world government. And as David Rockefeller says in his memoirs, some even believe we're part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, conspiring with others to build a more integrated global political and economic structure. And if that's the charge, I am guilty and I am proud of it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, these people are internationalists, they're subversive, and they're working at the highest levels of our government. And right now, they want to plunge us into a terrible, terrible conflict over there in the Middle East. How this is going to work out, I just don't know. Um, But pray that certainly the Congress does not vote to give Obama the permission to go ahead. Now, John Boner, the head of the, the Republican Party, basically his wife, Life leaves elsewhere. Apparently, he has uh, certainly been playing around, uh, or he has been seduced under any circumstances. They own him, ladies and gentlemen. They own Boner, as they own so many of our congressmen. They uh, certainly have spies there. They send attractive women uh, to compromise them. And if you guess most men, well, most men are attracted to women. Unfortunately, Boner and many of the others have uh, certainly compromised uh, their very souls. And Boner is willing to, uh, he is the House Majority Leader. He's willing to sell us out and take us into a battle over there. And basically, ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand what's going on now. You need to go to Deborah's website. You need to get her material. You need to pull it down and read it through half a dozen times. It'll take you that long to understand the significance of what she has. But this is one of the finest websites in the country. Now, if you're out there in the listening audience, you have a question. Our telephone number is one 800-259-5791, 800-259-5791, 1-800-259-5791 for this hour. Deborah, you go right ahead. Thank you, Dr. Stan. I want to just um, give an example of one of the attacks upon us. Now, I know we've spoken many times on past radio shows, Dr. Stan, about the smart meter, the global smart grid. And for those that want to watch the video, the conference that I gave, please go to stopthecrime.net, scroll down on the home page, and listen to my conference that I gave to the Oath Keepers. It will connect Agenda 21, Future War Earth, with the Wildlands Project, with the uh, military documents that say these frequencies are indeed weaponized and will injure 100% of the population. So I urge you to understand the details of that. I'm not going to take the time right now, Dr. Stan, to go through those details. I'm going to rely on everybody to please watch that information because I'm going to lay out some new information about the global smart grid and what has happened here in the United States recently. By executive order, each and every city across the United States through their planning department is required to implement what they call a climate action plan based on phony bogus science based on the idea that we are required to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and CO2. That is a fraud. Now here in Sonoma County, our uh, planning department recently uh, uh, put this uh, through and it was voted on by our um, city Council, and here's what it says. This is very important to listen very, very carefully here. This is about the smart meters. It said that by the year 2015, that's only two years away, Sonoma County, our area where I live, must reduce our greenhouse gas emissions 25% below 1990 levels. 25% below 1990 levels. They don't have levels calculated for 1999. It's bogus false science anyway. They're back engineering bogus numbers. They're requiring that the cities eliminate and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So what are they requiring? Smart meters on every single home. The opt-out plan that you've heard so much about was only a temporary appeasement plan to give us the sense of a victory while they worked in the back door to require this. They are requiring that we all install Energy Star appliances. Those are the appliances with the RFID chips in them. The sensors, they 
interact with the required smart meters on our homes. This is a military deployment. In order to bring in this one world government, they must have everything monitored 24-7, 365. This grid is a must in order to control us completely. Again, do not obey. Do not consent. This is the only way that we're going to survive this massive frequency attack up on us. It's well advanced, but we still have time to uh, not allow our brains to be taken over by these frequencies. Another aspect about the smart grid is this. I'm sure that many of you recall back in 2008, um, the White House promised Obama specifically that he would bankrupt the coal industry that supports over 80,000 jobs. So he said, quote, so if anybody wants to build a coal-powered plant, they can. It's just it will bankrupt them because they're going to have to be charged a high sum for all that greenhouse gas that's being emitted. He threatened us then. And during the campaign, Obama remarked, we can't drive our SUVs and eat as much as we want and keep our homes at 72 degrees at all times and just expect that other countries are going to say okay. They're bankrupting the coal industry, and this is illustrated in the climate action plans. And here in Sonoma County, our climate action plan says they want us to transition out of all gas appliances and out of all gas equipment. They're shutting down the coal industry through these climate action plans that are by executive order. Now, to get the details of what you hear me saying to you, go to stopthecrime.net and scroll down and it will say the smart meter opt-out was only an appeasement plan. Now, understand, they say in these various plans not to worry. You're going to be required to retrofit all your old clunker, inefficient appliances but you will be given the opportunity to have green mortgages. They say that it will cost anywhere between $2,000 and $5,000 per household to transition under the retrofitting requirement of all of our appliances. That is one reason GE was moved to China, slave labor, so they could manufacture the global replacement of appliances, again, to monitor everything we do and also this is additional pulsed microwave radiation frequencies that will damage us in our homes, again, rem- rendering us incapable to fight back because we're all going to be so, so sick. Uh, so it's- but, but Deborah, now what you're talking about, uh, Sydney, we're going to get this pulsed radiation from the chips that are in all the smart appliances. Is that right? That's absolutely right, the yes. RFID chips. And that's right, why I recommend, Dr. Stan, everyone go to StopTheCrime.net and watch my uh, talk with the Oath Keepers. I explain that in detail. I have pictures so people can see, so they'll understand the details that uh, are being uh, discussed right now more fully. Um, also, the increased radiation is coming from all of the uh, cell phone towers and all of the antennas that are being m- m- meticulously deployed all over our nation. In fact, this is global. This is all part of the frequency grid, and it is unthinkable. We are being absolutely imprisoned globally by the globalist. We can't allow this. The installation of cell phone towers are not to improve our cell coverage. This is to, again, once NSA is full up and running, they will be able to track every human being on the planet 24-7, 365, And then they will monitor everything about you, and they can directionalize energy at at specific people. They've been doing this for a very long time. This is not any new technology. I would simply point out that uh, do you ever wonder why so many of the cell phones are so inexpensive? They basically they're being subsidized because they want to track you, and this is really what we're doing with so much of the electronic equipment. Certainly, certainly, on many of your iPads pads and things like that where you can actually see the people you're talking to. But remember, the government can watch you as well. Our number is 1-800-259-5791. Give us a call. 1-800-259-5791. We'll be back in a moment with Deborah. We're moving towards a dictatorship. The people in charge know what they're doing. They just don't want you to know or to care. We'll be right back. Well, 
Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network, and our guest is Deborah Tavares. And if you're out there in the listening audience, you have a question for Deborah, our number is 1 800 259 5791. 1 800 259 5791. And ladies and gentlemen, certainly the oh, smart meters. The purpose of the smart meters is to monitor you. And they're not interested, certainly, in in saving electricity. What they want to do is be able to know exactly what you're doing. And down the line, everything that you do is going to be monitored and controlled. Everybody has a number. They have their cameras out every place. They're not interested in crime. They're interested in watching you. That's That's exactly right, Dr. Stan. In fact, in the U.S. Department of Energy document, this is what it says. This is the ultimate goal, not to use energy. The most efficient energy is energy we do not generate. This is not a technology. It is a behavior modification or learning to live in a new reality. They are aiming for zero. Now, we have been deceived. We are giving our consent because we lack the knowledge. None of us were taught about the bankruptcy of 1933 and what that actually meant. And so go to StopTheCrime.net. You'll see American flag that says USA Inc. Read the documents associated with that. But I'm going to tell you right now, people that talk about a constitution and a bill of rights is bogus. Our constitution and bill of rights has already been shredded. We are under a corporate-run, illegitimate international banking government. And we have a de facto government. It's a corporation. And it has been taken over since 1933 under the guise of the national banking emergency. During that emergency, the people were made enemies of the state to legalize the confiscation of our gold. Our status remains unchanged as long as the national emergency uh, exists in our country. And this is uh, according to the Senate Report uh, 93.5. 549, page 2. Since March of 1933, the United States has been in a state of declared national emergency. The national emergencies, which include wars, delegate the president extraordinary powers ordinarily exercised by Congress, which affect the lives of American citizens in a host of all-encompassing matters. Manners. This vast range of powers taken together uh, give the... Uh, authority to rule the country without reference to normal constitutional processes. Under the powers delegated by these statutes, the president may seize property, organize and control the means of production, seize commodities, assign military forces abroad, institute martial law, seize and control all transportation and communications, regulate and operate private enterprise, restrict travel, and a plethora of of particular ways to control the lives of all of us. And the statutes are corporate codes, rules, and regulations. They not, are not laws. And we simply must realize what, how we have been deceived. Our corporate history was rewritten just as Common Core is rewriting and dumbing down our children right now in schools by dumbing down math and science. We were all dumbed down. We were not taught what occurred in, in 1933. And I can only tell you that this also goes into Agenda 21 in America. That was established by executive order by the executive branch during Bill Clinton. And again, these are illegitimate orders. These are not laws or rules under a constitution. We simply cannot acknowledge this. Our consent is our acknowledgement and and our demise. And I can say in the source document, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars, it says if we give our consent, we deserve what we get. If we eat the poison foods that they uh, put forth to us, we deserve to die. And this is what it says. We are we are killing ourselves by lack of igno- by ignorance and lack of knowledge. And so we must educate ourselves really quickly. Read these source documents. Understand the degree of noncompliance that each and every one of us are required to make. We're here right now. This is on our watch. War is in our country, in the United States. Right now, it's a silent war. It is a quiet war. It is a war that we do not recognize as even being a war. And in the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars document, 
It tells us just that. The public cannot comprehend this weapon and cannot believe they are being attacked or subdued by a weapon. When this is applied gradually, the public adjusts and adapts to its presence and learns to tolerate its encroachments on their lives until the pressure, both psychological and economic, becomes too great and they crack up. The silent weapons is a type of biological warfare. It attacks the vitality, options, mobility of individuals of a society by knowing, understanding, manipulating, attacking our sources of natural and social energy and our physical, mental, and emotional strengths and weaknesses. Read this document. It is important for you to understand the level of engagement that is now required. Go to antennasearch.com. Recognize that the cell phone towers are weaponized. They are deployed in all of our communities, along all of our major highways. This is all part of the ultimate goal. They're not only taking our land, not only do they want to control the food supply and the water supply, they want our very minds. And I know that this sounds just unbelievable. It is. It is, and that is why they figure we'll never come to understand what they're doing because it's too outrageous. And well, the Deborah, only- I'm going to have, I'm going to have to you go because we're out of time. But ladies and gentlemen, if they want your mind. They also want to kill off a significant part of the population of this country, and they're already doing that. They're poisoning our water. They're poisoning our air. They're poisoning our food. They're poisoning our vaccines. They're giving us poison medicine. Get, go to Deborah's website again. Once more, the name of your website. StopTheCrime.net, call 707-586-9558, 707-586-9558 to order the documents if you are unable to download them from our website. And Dr. Stan, thank you so much for having me on today. And thank you for everything you're doing, Deborah. God bless. Bye-bye. Well, you can tell, certainly listening to Deborah, that she's very, very concerned about what's going on. And I understand her concern, and what she's saying is absolutely true. Remember, I've been at this for over 50 years now, and I've seen these things unfolding. I've seen them create unnecessary war after unnecessary war, and kill literally hundreds of millions of people. And basically, they're going to kill an awful lot more as, as, if we go ahead with this war over there in the Middle East. is totally unjustified war. Why is it unjustified? Justified? Well, of course, basically, you've got uh, the Shia and the Sunni Muslims that, that uh, basically opposing one another. But who was it who actually installed the, the mullahs over there in Iran in 1979? Why, we did. Who is it who's backing the uh, Sunni Muslims? Why, we are. We're backing both sides, ladies and gentlemen. After all, you can't have a war unless you've got enemies. So we create the enemies. And what most people don't understand is everything is an illusion and delusion, and these are wicked and evil people. And so what you need to do, Chris, is get my book, Brotherhood of Darkness. That's Brotherhood of Darkness. You need to get my talk on Agenda 21, the covert plan, population control, the covert agenda, the Desperate Deception, it's a talk I give, but most of it is certainly, or half of it, is the interview I did back in 1980 with Norman Dodd, who is director of the research for the Reese Committee, the only congressional committee ever allowed to investigate the great tax exam foundations. And what did he find out? Well, basically that these people, especially those in the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, wanted to change the world. How would you do it? Why you do it? By wars. There is no better way to change the world than through wars. And that's what this whole phony situation is over in Syria today. Basically, we go to Dale Gavlak. G-A-V-L-A-K. Look it up. Write it down. Get your computer out. Start talking about it on the Internet. Gail Gavlak, and talk program, Gail Gavlak, is a reporter who went to the area over there, a suburb of Damascus. And what did he do? He talked to the rebels and said, sure, we were the ones responsible for the use of chemical weapons. They were given to us by Saudi Arabia, and we didn't know how to use them. You'll find this article, a number of articles to this effect on the Internet, and never mentioned by the controlled media because the media is rigidly controlled by wicked and evil men. Dale Gavlak, look it up, ladies and gentlemen, and then help us get the word out. And then, of course, we hope that many of you will see. want to get my uh, DVD. It's called the 
the Desperate Deception. You can get my DVD on the World Revolution. That's my interview with Ambassador uh, uh, Smith, Ambassador Earl T. Smith, a billionaire who was kind enough to let me in, interview him, and he was the American ambassador to Cuba. When we installed Fidel Castro, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we installed him knowing he was a communist. And David Rockefeller's daughters go down to visit with Fidel, and Fidel comes up to visit with David Rockefeller. You need to verify that. Get David Rockefeller's book from Radio Liberty. That's memoirs by number 1-800-544-8927. Nothing as it appears to be. Everything is illusion and delusion. By number 1-800-544-8927. Please pray for Radio Liberty. If you can, please help us. We'll be right back. 